Jesus, I love you because you can. I couldn't imagine no Lord if you weren't there. Jesus, I love you because you can. I couldn't imagine if you weren't there. Jesus, I love you because you can. Jesus, I love you, I love you. Yeah. Jesus, I love you, I love you. Because you care. Jesus, I love you, I love you. Jesus, I love you, I love you. Jesus, I love you, I love you. Because you
Everybody knows what the day is. The day left the Lord has been. The Lord has been glad. I was going to say that. And I was expecting someone to say the day was August the 7th. But today is the day that the Lord has made. Let each one of us rejoice and be glad in it. But if the Lord bless you to wake up tomorrow, yeah. Tuesday, yeah. Wednesday, after yeah. you wake up and you say, Thank you, Lord, for waking me up from my slumber and sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Now know that today is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, we can yes. be anywhere but today. Yes. I'm sorry. I had to get that off my chest. So let me get back into character. And give you the scripture reading for the day for our devotional service. If you're able to stand, please stand. Scripture reading will be coming from the 113th number of songs. Praise ye the Lord. Praise, O ye servant of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the saints. The Lord's name. The Lord's name is to be praised. May the Lord have a riches and blessing to the reading of the hearers of his word. Right. And may you take it with you this week and forward. Yes, Feed the soul, mm -hmm. let it digest, Amen. and it will carry you forevermore. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Yes, sir. Amen. Time that we need to pray. Yes, sir. Just right now. And we need to not stop praying. We need to pray continually. Everywhere we go, we should be thanking God in some form of fashion because He's so awesome. Oh, Father God, that we humble ourselves come before the throne of grace in the name of your son Jesus Christ. Father, we come thanking you. We had a thousand tongues we could thank you enough. But first of all, we want to repent and ask that you forgive us of our sins. Cleanse us from our unrighteousness. Thank you, Father. For your children being able to cry out to you. Yeah. You, you hear us. The confidence that we have in your son Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. That we believe yeah. and we trust. Yeah. That we have faith in things that we can't even see. Yeah. So we just to continue to cleanse us and set us in the right mind that we worship you in the spirit and in truth. That we understand your will for our lives and that we must live according to your will. We must realize your will is the Bible. And once we know and understand that we no longer belong to ourselves. But you own us. You sent your son. He said, so love the world that you gave. And what you gave, you gave your very best. That he died and hung out there on Calcutta. Place called a school. Lord, we did. We pray for the sick, 
We pray for the shut-in, Lord, so people laid down last night didn't wake up. Some woke up and couldn't get them. What do we have to complain about? It's your mercy, your grace, your sufficient. Lord, we pray for our pastor. We pray for all the ministers of congregation. We pray that you continue to crown their heads with wisdom and knowledge that they may teach the truth and nothing but the truth. And so we as a collective body realize that Jesus is the one that sacrificed we must one day pick up the cross and follow him for his name's sake. It's got to be about Jesus. And when we're out in this world, we should be able to have the courage. He gave us the courage to tell others about the goodness of God. Amen, amen. And the mercies of God. Amen. amen. So we use, need to use this opportunity to not only come in the sanctuary, but also go outside yes. and witness to this world because we're in a world system. Yes. And this system has principalities in high places. So well, thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We thank you now in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Good morning, St. Stephen. Good morning.
contributions to our food pantry. Now that we have opened, we need immediate contributions of the following items. Canned vegetables and beans, bags or boxes of rice, instant potatoes, breakfast cereal, other dry goods. We will provide updates regularly as we assess resources on hand and the needs of those utilizing the pantry. Thank you for your spirit and contributions, your food pantry ministry. School has started. Thank you to all members who contributed to our backpack and school supply giveaway led by our Christian Nurture Ministry. Please include school safety in your daily prayers. We want to pray to prevent a crisis rather than after a crisis. Also, be watchful for children, school zones, and traffic signs. New schools, new students, new rules. Change is happening all around us. Think safety first. Meetings and study this week. Tuesday, 6.30 p.m., Faith Works Study Group via Zoom, studying Acts 8, 4 through 12, and Acts 2 and 8. Wednesday, 10.30 a.m., Bible Power Hour on Zoom, studying 1 Corinthians 11 and 12. Wednesday, 6.30 p.m., Bible Happy Hour on Zoom, Life Application Study. Coming soon. Attention all members, please prepare to attend our next family meeting on Monday, August 29th at 7 o'clock p.m. via Zoom. The Lord is doing wonderful things through the body. We look forward to sharing his goodness. Spiritual PPE. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God and Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation and good hope by grace, Comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. 2 Thessalonians 2, 16 through 17, New King James Version. These have been your announcements for the week. Let us govern ourselves accordingly.
that's enough for me to give him praise. Because he reigns every day in our lives, that's enough to worship him. It's time to pray. To pray. A wonderful opportunity that he didn't have to allow us to have. To pray. The Bible tells us that there was a time when we had to go to the high priest to pray for our sins and to render unto the, for our atonement. But God says, no, we don't have to do that anymore. The Bible says, whosoever will, let it come. Doesn't matter what you did. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you come from. Jesus says to come. Hallelujah. If you would, please look at somebody. Look at someone that you love. And tell them, ask them, or to tell them if you will. If you believe, as I believe, the Lord will give us what we need. The Bible says, if any man touch and agree, does anybody agree that he's good? Does anybody agree that he's able? It's about minds are clear. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, once again, as we come before your throne of grace, Father, we come before you in a posture of humbleness. Father, we come before you because your word says to cast all of our cares upon you because you care for us. Father, your word says to come before you, Father, boldly in prayer because we realize that we know God and we don't know where else to go. But Father, we know when we come to you, everything will be all right. Father, we thank you even right now in this moment. Father, we thank you that you allowed us to assemble together one more time. Father, even last night we slept in the very image of death. But oh God, we thank you because you gave us a new mercy this morning. Father, you refresh in our spirit that we may come together and just to hear a word from you. And Father, while we are yet here into this house, Father, we're going to just say thank you. Father, thank you for keeping us in our right mind this morning. Oh, God, the word says that you are a keeper, if you will. The word says that you will keep us in perfect peace, whose mind is staying on you. And, Father, when we woke up this morning, somebody woke up with you on our minds, oh, God. When we woke up this morning, somebody woke up with a reason to praise you this morning. When we woke up this morning, we didn't need anyone to help us get up. We didn't need a clock to wake us up. Father, it was your Holy Spirit that allowed us to get up this morning. And Father, we thank you right now. And Father, for the same power that woke us up this morning, Father, we declare by the blood of Jesus, we give authority over everything that is not of you in the name of Jesus. We give authority over sickness in the name of Jesus. We give authority over lack in the name of Jesus. We give authority over confusion in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare your authority right now in the name of Jesus. Father, your word says all things are new in the name of Jesus. And Father, we praise you this morning. We bless the name of Jesus this morning. Father, we thank you for the name of Jesus this morning. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to praise your name. Father, even now, we, we ask right now in the name of Jesus, Father, bless everyone that are gathered here, Father. Father, your wife says you know what we have need of even before we ask, oh God. So, Father, we can count it all joy. We can be excited because we know it's already done. We can give you the praise because we already got the victory. And we thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for giving us the, pre the blessing of your presence right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift up the pastor right now. We pray you continue to bless him fully, totally, and completely. We pray for the first lady, oh God. We pray your spirit continue to refresh in her and strengthen her even now in the name of Jesus. And Father, for everyone that is assembled here right now, we pray, oh God, that you bless them with a special blessing in the name of Jesus. We pray right now that you bless them one by one. Each one, Father, that comes before you in the name of Jesus. Father, you know what their needs are, and we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you do it now. Do it swiftly and do it completely, Father. And we will give you all the praise and glory. We believe it's already done. We believe it's already finished. And God, we will give you the praise right now. God, we will lift up your name right now. God, we will say thank you, Jesus. You didn't have to do it, but you did. 
You didn't have to bless us, but you did. You didn't have to give us a sound mind, but you did. Oh, Father, we can go on and on and thank you for all the blessings you've given us. But, Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for this season. Father, we thank you for right now. Because we know you're already blessing us right now. You're already blessing us. We thank you, Father. And, Father, we'll be so ever careful to give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say, Amen.
Gospel of John. All right. Chapter 10. Living Word. <laughs> Almost need to change the title of this message. Because it is as if we had a meeting this morning. Mm. I'm going to read a lot of verses. Appreciate the living word. Good to see all of you. Amen. Amen. You can see that right now. If you could see who I see. Amen. Amen. It's good to be able to see. Amen. Amen. One more time. John chapter 10, verse 31, and I am reading New King James. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I shown you from my Father. For which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we do not stone you. But for blasphemy, and because you being a man, make yourself God. Jesus answered them, is it not written in your law? I said you are gods. If he called them gods to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, do you say of him whom the Father sanctified and sent into the world, you are blaspheming because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not do the works of my Father, do not believe me. But if I do, Though you do not believe me, wow. believe the works that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Therefore, they sought again to seize him, but he escaped out of their hand. And he went away again beyond the Jordan to the place where John was baptizing at first. And there he stayed. Then many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but all the things that John spoke about this man were true. And many believed in him there. Amen. Amen. Such is the word of God. Our thought for today, word for word. Word for word. On today, we celebrate the Lord's Supper as a body of believers. Partly in tradition, greatly in necessity to obedience to the word. There is an expectancy that the believers of God would share together in remembering Jesus. Amen. So often we tend to only remember the cross, not to devalue the cross at all. The cross is extremely important. There's so much more God has done for us. And this is one of those situations where we find some good news that we ought to remember today. In this day and age when we're challenged on every side, on every hilltop, in every valley, we are challenged, amen, as believers 
in Christ Jesus. In this day and age, when everything is thrown into our eyes and into our ears, we need to know and hold fast to the truth. So today, as the body of believers, we celebrate Jesus the Christ. Amen. We remember, Amen. hallelujah, who he is and what he has done. Amen. So often, so often, we can narrow down the remembrance of a person or a thing to a one line. But our Lord and Savior is more than a one line. He's more than a, oh, Lord have mercy. He is more than a one line. Now, when we look at this text, we see some things that people have thrown at our God. The Jews took up stones. New King James, as some of the others say, again. But the King James does not include the word again. It just says, then the Jews took up stones to stone them. Am I right about it? So do we have any King James versions out there in the house? Amen. That, that is the scripture. Well, why would one say again? And why would one not say again? Is there a contradiction or a conflict in the word? Is one right or one wrong? I would bid you not. says again. Again. Because if it says, it says again. It says again. Okay. There are some verses that it does not say again. Amen. But it's okay. Because there's a connectivity to what is happening here. Amen. The, the challenge, these people, these religious people, these religious people have a problem with the word. And we as believers, hallelujah, have to remind religious people that the word, come on, the word is what we need. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And ooh, Lord, hallelujah. So when he says again, why would it say again? Well, in chapter 8, verse 59 and verse 58, uh, Jesus mentions that before Abraham was, I am. Now, all the things he had said, Brother Wright, when he got to that, oh, man, we got to stone him in 1859. But he couldn't. They couldn't. Because that was not what he came to do. And he had power and authority over them. So he just passed right through them and disappeared. He did not run and hide. He just disappeared. Because their little authority is really insignificant. And here we are again. He's been... Jesus has been dealing with some things, teaching about uh, me and the Father being one about the necessity of the believers to do the will of God, to do the work of God together. And, 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 and these fellas uh, have a little problem. And the problem didn't start with what Jesus did. The problem is what he said. They have a problem with the word. And if you pay attention today, the greatest challenge we have is not what we do as a church, it's what we say. Right. They don't mind you feeding the hungry. Yeah, right. They don't mind you praying for a crisis situation. They don't mind you having worship in your place. They don't mind you doing funerals. They don't mind you uh, driving around uh, with your church van. They don't mind you giving away backpacks. But it's what you say that they have a problem with. Even the rules and the regulations of the government say, look, we, you can give out food. We'll supplement you. We'll give you food to give out to other people. But be careful what you say. Because what you say could violate our directives. Oh Lord. oh, Lord, you cannot quench the church. You cannot silence the church. We know Jesus for ourselves. And we must be willing and able to speak up. And we must speak up as the body of believers in a crazy world, in a mixed up world. They, they have a problem with what he said. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, I and my father are one. Yep, that's it. The Jews took up stones again. Everything he had said, that's all right. But when he say, I and the father are one, oh, stone in time. Now I know by tradition, stoning was only done on Friday. Amen. At noon, at the noonday prayer, after the noonday prayer, they would do stoning. But <laughs> when Jesus said what he said, go get the rocks. Go get the rocks. They're not going to cry out. We need them to fly out. And so Jesus poses a question to him. Wait, wait a minute. Let me, first of all, of all the things I've done, which one are you stoning me for? Yeah, 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 yeah. What, 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 what did I do? What, what, what did I do? John, John, John didn't have everybody else's testimony. He didn't have Mark's testimony. He didn't have Matthew's testimony. He didn't have Luke's testimony. So John lets us know in chapter 2, well, Jesus turned water into wine. Okay, but that was okay. In chapter 2, Jesus even cleansed the temple of the money change. No, we, we're not going to kill you for that. It, it bothers us, but, but we don't want to kill you for, for that. That, that, that. That seems to be a little okay. In chapter 3, he has a personal experience with Nicodemus and calls him out. The little, you know, the man of short stature that went up in the tree. Amen. But and then came to him by night. But that that's all right. Uh, we we're not going we're not going to stone you for that. In chapter four, he meets a woman at the well and tells her all about herself. Amen. And tells her about living water. And she's ready to change. She makes a new change. And she tells him, "Come see a man that told me all about myself." Oh, but that's all right. We're not going to stone you uh, 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 about that. About that, in, 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 in chapter five, in chapter five, amen, he heals the man at the pool of Bethsaida, of, of Bethesda, uh, Beth, Bethesda. He heals the man at the pool of Bethesda, amen. They saw that, they witnessed that. It was miraculous. They didn't have the power nor the authority to do it. Man been coming to the pool all this time, they hadn't done nothing. I have no man to, throw, uh, to put me in the water, amen. But Jesus shows up and heals him, take up that man and walk. But that's all right. We, we, we're not going to stone you uh, about that. That, that. That's okay. In chapter 6, he feeds 5,000 plus women and children. Amen. That, that's miraculous. With, with, with two fish and five barley loaves. That, that's miraculous. That, that's awesome. Amen. That's unheard of. That's going to shake some things up. Amen. But but no, no, no. That, that's okay. That bothers us. But, but And we don't understand it. But we're not going to stone you about that. Amen. He walks on water. Walks on water in chapter 6. Right. Amen. Now that's, a that's a miraculous event. They, they, they heard about that. But that's all right. We, we're not going to stone you for, for that good work. We, we see you doing what you do. Amen. We hear you doing what you do. But, but, but we're not going to stone you. All right, sir. Mm. <laughs> chapter 7. He rejects them. He tells them, no, no, no. Y'all do y'all. But I'm going to do me. You, you have no authority over me. The Holy, the Holy Spirit is going to come and, and let the people that follow me know how to do the right things in the right place. Amen. And then, and then there's this woman. There's this woman in chapter 7. Begins at chapter 7 and then it goes on into chapter 8 who has an issue. So they try to trap him by bringing him to her and tell him all about her adulterous life. So he writes on the ground and say, ye without sin, cast the first stone. So they got to get up and get up out of here. But we're not going to stone you about that. That We don't like it. We had to get up and go. We had to eat crow. But 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 that's okay. That's okay. We, we're going to let you get away with that. Hey, amen, 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 amen. Ooh, go dip seven times in the pool of Shalom. Blind man needing sight. Jesus takes mud off the ground, spits in it, makes a little whatever he makes, puts it on the man's eye, then tells him to go dip in the pool of Shalom. Amen. We see that. 
That's nasty, but we're not gonna we're not gonna stone you for that. But as soon as he said, I and the father are what up, kill him, kill him. Get the stones. What a mindset, my brothers and sisters. Do you see it today? Yeah. And so then Jesus throws another thought out. Wait a minute. Didn't God call you God? And you go, huh? In Psalm 82 and 6. Amen. God uses the word God with a little G. Not equivalent. Not holy. That, 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 none of that is attached to it. No equivalency to God. No holiness of God. Even though he explained and shared, they still wanted to kill him. But Jesus escaped. Now when we think of escape, we think of, I made it out of there. Not Jesus. He removed himself. He departed. He just left. But it wasn't like he was hiding. Because they wanted to stone him again. But Jesus had his own version of again. He went back again to where John the baptizer was baptizing. If you want to find me, come where I've already been. Come again. Come correct. I'm not hiding from you. I'm crossing the river. But Jesus recognized that this whole group had been after him the whole time. And so he didn't run from them. He just stayed on point. He stayed on mission. He would deal with them again later. What like he divorced them? Or said, no, no, I'm moving on. I'm going somewhere else forever. No, no, no. He just knew, okay, over here, there's some people that want to be saved. There's some people that need to be saved. There's some people that need to be helped. Let me go tell them about, amen, me. Let me go show them about me. He didn't even have to talk over there. That's the power of the word. When the word shows up. Oh, no. Because when he crosses the joy. Oh, no. Sister Anna, when he crosses the joy, just, just his presence. Just his presence says, look, y'all, I'm here. And the people remember who he is. And the Bible says many begin to come. And then they testify. Amen. John, John did not do any signs. Don't try to pump John up. He's just a man. Don't try to make anything more than anything it is. It's just a man. It's just a woman. That's, that's all you and I are. We are vessels. Amen. We are sounding brass to, to share who Jesus is. But they said, look, he didn't do any signs at all. But Reverend Williams, they said, he said, they said, but what he said about this man, what he said about Jesus is true. His word on the word is true. Y'all do know the word became flesh and dwelt among us. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Amen, amen. That's John 1 and 1, out of 14. And, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Word for word. Yes, sir. Jesus, I love you, I love you. Jesus, I love you, I love you. Because you care.